Hello, my lovely people. Happy Sabbath to you all. How are you doing? Welcome, welcome to my live stream. As me start my live stream here, noise. Disclaimer, guys, noise coming from a child next door. Sorry for the noise as we start. I don't know if anybody ever, you're always in a quiet environment. And the minute you, you start doing a, a video or live, you hear some stupid noise. How are you doing, my people? Thanks for coming. Say one person. No, thank you. You're there. Sit me a scream. Oh, Lord, Jesus. In the hello, Miss Blake, how are you? Thanks for coming. Thank you, thank you very much. Want to go on live from morning, but was a bit busy. I was a bit so busy. Not today, I saw up nearly busy. Me, I forgot I wrote or sort something out, so that's where me coming from, and it took me longer than I. Good morning, Jackie. Present your thumbs up. Done. Thank you, Miss Blake. And happy and holy Easter to you. Yes, thank you. Same to you. Same to you too, my darling. From morning, if you come, me said I wanted to come at live 10 o'clock. And the 10 o'clock when we want to start the live, that's the time we leave, go to road. We go to road, me say, okay. Myself here, what I want to do, it's me. Myself here, what I want to do mm -hmm. is need help. Something like that. When you say I want help, Miss Gary. Oh, what you want? Myself here, what I want to do, it's need help. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, I'm supposed to go be got a, I'm supposed to start my life 10 o'clock as planned. And when me I leave here at 10 o'clock, I me leave 10 o'clock, me said, all right, me, I'll be back by 10 30 to start my life. When me reach now, it's almost 11 o'clock. It's not easy at all. I said, we want to come 10, 11, 12, and finish by say 12. Do I go two hours and then because me get the rest because me have work later. Okay, me have work, it make me sometimes a bit upset. Especially on weekend. I like work on weekend. Saturday and Sunday evening. I like it. But so it thing go. So the thing set up. No, thank God I'm still here. So, Miss Gay, Miss you with your lovely bun and cheese and fish and so. I did want to go to, but what I want to, to do require help. So, maybe later. Oh. Okay. Man, I'm telling you, it's not easy. Very easy at all. I'm going to look something for free rub me. me the, something I used to use for um to put in my, to make me wig curly. It's finished. One name Novia. Now blue buckle. That's finished. So I went out a while ago to the useless abadashi where they have out there. So they might have nothing. And even if they have it, they expensive. So I went to the abadashi a while ago and pick up a few little things like the one different brand or something one shower gel no one one look up the little bottle or something and when me realize and um give the guy my card and he swipe it me realize yeah one thousand three hundred dollar fee one but little bottle or something and 
so me buy it and one dove soap. Me have to go add a some dove soap and line dove sensitive because it's dove sensitive I use, but they don't have any dove. Say I can't get none of my soap actually finish. I want a piece me have I one with. So that finished. So what me have to do now. We go to Abadash with them. No, I've no, they no, I've no, no type pharmacy. No, dove sensitive only. Do, uh, the other is a dove and are original. So, me say, all right, me buy one uh, original dove. And um, yeah, me buy that. So, when we buy that now, it and it's something for rub the ear. Two toothbrush hold and one shower gel. They must have come to some like almost $2,000. I want to fit thirteen hundred dollar that I something for rub ear, um, and I'm a bit concerned about the thing that me buy for rub my ear because I never use it before. As I said before, the one that I use is one that's called Novia, that is very good. It make the ear curly and shiny, any ear at all. And then them no have none out there. So yes, my dear, my daughter is the. Ones that makes it possible. Okay. Yeah, when we have the data, then we help. That's really good. Most times when we want to go anywhere, my husband always drop me. If he's not here, we don't do it. Even if we took, when we got supposed to go to work, and drop me at the um, crossing where we get the bus because the company provide a bus transportation for us to take us to work and back. Drop us at the crossing and pick us up back there. So he dropped me there. So if the bus leave me, then he will take me to work. Because I, I don't know if anybody understand or be probably like me or what I don't know. I, the driving, we don't like it if we drive myself. I can drive myself. I can drive. But I don't know if it's because me I'm with my husband now when we're comfortable and have depend on him to carry me around, make me get so lazy or reluctant. I don't know. Me don't want to drive anymore. I don't want to drive. I remember how much years of my life in England where me never have no husband or have nobody with me. It was just me and my daughter, me so carry myself here, there, everywhere, drive myself go here, so there, so everywhere. And since, me, even when I just came back here, me used to do it, but then me just stop again. Me don't know, I don't have that zeal anymore. Because even today when we supposed to um, go to road, just go um, start out something and um, go to a machine and then Get few bits, one and few bits and pieces. Go to the Abadashri and elsewhere. And my husband, like he was really tired. He never feel to get up out of bed this morning. And he said to me, say, you want no man see key or the car key? And me say, no, me tired. Me can't, but I'm not driving. Me just can't. Me don't have that zeal anymore. But guess what? Me I'll pick it up back. Because if I... If me did still have that zeal, me then just put on, get up this morning as me eat my breakfast, look out for myself and jump in night and go about my business and me then come back long time for 10 o'clock. But because I have to be waiting and <laughs> till him feel, please forget up for drop me. You know? But me go get the zeal and do my thing myself. Start back. Do my own thing. Maybe it's because of the circumstances. And that again, that again, because of pure madness I go on up on road. Pure madness. Pure madness I go on. But me I'm gonna take it, me I'm gonna start again. Because nothing beat independence. Nothing at all beat that. I'm gonna start back. Bring myself here and there. I'm going to start back. Nothing be it when you're independent, Miss Gay. As much as you can. I don't know if it's a phobia 
of the road here in Jamaica are what me no know. But me I'll start back and anytime I start me I'll get myself back on track. And my husband would say, why you won't drive yourself anymore? What happened? Me can't give an answer. Me just comfortable with him doing it for me. Me don't feel me don't know, I don't know. But me go start it. Start again. I am going to start again. Oh, Easter almost over. This day, this, this day, um, this holiday is one of my favorite holiday. Easter, I don't know. I love Easter. Yes, Ati, man. Can you imagine, Miss Gay, from oh, we here a look from morning to wake up, the place looks so overcast. A while ago, when we go in this outer road and go, wait, go in the supermarket, I feel hurry up because rain did I drew. And look, it rain I drew anymore, and it's still a bit overcast, but it's hot. I don't know why. Let us let, let, make God do work. The breeze is so nice. Let me want to see. Me not feel no breeze. It's just overcast. I mean, I don't know if I threw me in my house here. So, but that window there open. Me got open that one. This is just overcast. I look really. I was thinking at one point, say, um, I never have a topic yet, you know, people. I always come up and find topic. I'm just tired. I want to lie down and sleep. Today is Sabbath. Mm -hmm. I'm cool here. I'm laying down and all windows are open. Yeah, the one day over, window over there is open, but the one day is not open. Me feel lazy if you get up. The time make you feel like you just want to lie down and relax. You know, I do nothing. You know, no why? Time. I think I'm going to get up and walk the window there. My neighbors are very noisy. I hear them, Miss Kay. They're very noisy. Oh, tired.
this picture of here is so noisy when they are passing it's all you live near near beside the road miss gay you live right beside the like on the main road near to this busy street where i'm living i can hear when vehicles passing but i can't see them i think if we go on the ground and look across you will see them you hear everything when them passing but not so much disturbing noise so this um conscious business service an opportunity peace and blessings is hello my brother my sister how are you doing thanks for coming happy sabbath and happy easter holiday to you thank you for coming conscious say greetings everyone thanks for coming please remember to give my live stream a thumbs up as you come I am doing well. Thanks. Thanks for thanks for goodness you are doing well. Thanks for that. And life's Miss Gay say yes, I am on a scheme. I can I can lay down on my room and see them. Oh, okay, okay. Okay, that's good. I don't I don't celebrate this holiday but thanks and may you also have a wonderful weekend. Thank you very much. God bless you. Oh, you don't celebrate this holiday. Oh, that's understandable. We all do um celebrate different things or none at all. And that's the way of life and we all have to respect each other's space no matter what the choice we choose because i don't celebrate christmas none at all we don't like christmas but easter i love easter i love easter holiday but christmas no no for me with christmas but easter it's my day love easter holiday to me christmas is like just another day welcome conscious thanks for coming say miss gay conscious business service and opportunity say what well said sis you're welcome thank you thank you Con um conscious said thank you love at miss gay so basically conscious is saying um hello and love to you miss gay and miss gay already said give your welcome to you. yeah we don't celebrate christmas but um heads up and 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 um to everyone who does but me i don't i love christmas i don't know i don't, I don't love christmas I don't love Christmas. Give me love Easter. May I always look forward for Easter holiday. But when we say they said Jesus born a tree in a third day and raised. It wouldn't be me no know. You see, if you follow these things, it, it make overthinking kill you, mash up your brain. <laughs> because I would more think that he was um on a Wednesday. Uh, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. I don't know. Miss Gay, what you think? I say to each this, to each is our, our own and live and let live. Of course, I have done, I don't have a problem with persons who celebrate Christmas because my daughters celebrate Christmas. They celebrate Christmas because they have children and you know that let me sit up and talk to you guys they have children and you know children love christmas christmas is most for kids especially these days so my daughter celebrate christmas 
my sisters them some of them celebrate christmas but honestly me not celebrate christmas when i so when when for me tidying up and all that you see people change curtain do this do that for christmas i don't do it for christmas i easy i do it before christmas or new year i will celebrate respect the new year coming and all that every new year I enter give god thanks to see i live to see another here yeah i really love that and appreciate the new year and i will mostly do my tidying up as well for new year oh you love my top thank you you know it's a long time top i have thank you very much it's a long long time top i have until when I put it on, I, this morning when I was going out on the road and I was looking for something to put on, I just, as I hope in the closet, I see it, I just say, come here. And then stand right there and put it on. And then I put it on, I say, oh, you still fit. <laughs> yeah, man. Because I didn't want to go and find anything that I'm supposed to, that I have to iron. So I just put it on and I say, wow, it still fit. I am so tired. So are you um conscious? I think he's a um content creator. I must check out. I think I write you down. I wrote you down. Oh, I saw you diff already. I can't remember where. Where did I see you before, conscious? I write you down. I don't remember if it's an Altia live. I can't remember, but I see you somewhere. I write, I think if I check my book, but I'm so lazy to get up to go up, go for that book. But when I, I start in the life, I think to myself, oh, I start, oh, I'm doing live and I don't have my book. I think I have you right, written down somewhere. I don't know where, but I'm sure I have your top, have you written down somewhere to go back to you. Today is Sabbath. Sabbath for me. Don't remember either, but I think I know you from my other channel. See what happened, guys? I think something went wrong with the light. And the internet i didn't see the need of extra tidying up because people tidy their place from time to time of course let me tell you something miss game it's a tradition thing especially we in we let me come off it and use by um hold on let me try and come off this Sorry about that. Um, the internet keep chipping out and look how near me I'm here with the box to the box. And my Wi-Fi is still on, is um my service is on as well. So let me see the problem. I was saying before, from our growing up, I used to see people when it come into Christmas or during Christmas time, big shopping, paint their houses change your curtain go out and do this big shopping i used to see that all the time from our growing up so the extra tidying up for we as jamaican it's not nothing strange but as i said before i don't tidy up for christmas i do it before or after because um for instance um, I change curtains April and then it say up for April, May, June, July, and then I change in August again. Because this gay as well, woman, we know if we don't change our house curtains, it you know what will happen. 
you have so I change them every three months basically I change for April and then so it's up there May June July so between July and August I change again and then when August then you have September October November so I change in November or early December but not for Christmas so I make sure I try to change the ending of November to December. And then now we come back again. When I change November, it go up until January, I change again, or February. I do not change curtain for Christmas. I do not buy things for Christmas. No. Anytime. But Easter, it's not that I buy things, but I prepare for Easter like bun and cheese. I don't eat but cheese. Because I'm lactose intolerant, so I don't eat cheese. Bun, I eat bun, but the reason why I don't like the bun much because I cannot eat the cheese, so I just leave both of them. But I like to make sure that they are in the home. That's with me. But the fish, I'm telling you, the fish is me. Fish is me, but I didn't get to do any yesterday because I was at work. All day yesterday, I was on the day shift yesterday. So um, this morning, I was thinking, wonder if I should do some brown stew fish for dinner tomorrow. As we are in the, the um, season for fish. And, um, and this is my, 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 one of my favorite this is my favorite um, time of the year that, where, that I like to celebrate. So I, what type of fish do you usually eat in Jamaica for Easter? Well, for me, for me, I, I for me, fish is fish. But because of, um, I used to, I eat, I like mangrove snapper or mullet. Yeah, that's the two fish for me. Those sliced fish and all that, I don't really go for them. If I do slice, slice fish, I do a slice or two for my father-in-law because, you know, his age and the bone and the this and that. When the slice fish only have one bone in the middle and so. So for me, mangrove snapper or mullet. Because I can remember at one point when I really had bad stomach, anytime I eat any other fish, it never digests. No snapper digests for me. Even until now, if I eat snapper, it does not go down properly. It's there. Oh, mullet is that the small fish? Um, you get them in all sizes. Sometimes you get them big, sometimes you get them small, but they are very meaty. They don't have a lot of bone to encounter with. Do you have a fish called? Basha dear. Dasha. I've never heard of that one. Never heard of that one. But as I said, it's either mangrove snapper for me or mullet. Those red snapper with the yellow tail, white. Mm -mm. I don't like them. They don't go, they don't digest for me. They don't digest. So I just go with what? work for the stomach for my digestion as I or I should say so I'm thinking of tomorrow to do some fish that came across my mind when I got back you say got you yeah thank you for understanding me when I came back in the house today from when I went out on the road I think, why didn't you do some fish for tomorrow? I, it didn't come to my thought one bit. Why didn't you do some fish tomorrow? Because you're in the time for fish. You know, fish eat every day. Bun and cheese eat every day. But this time of the year, I like fish. Is there a tradition like... Hold on there. Fresh stew, like fish stew or curry fish for Easter. Well, you do it how you want to. 
my phone fell from my hands and finger caught something and next thing i i was in some one's live stream okay oh yeah if you, you can't slide up and you see other people live stream oh um curry fish i never had curry fish before but i know of persons who had curry fish and they say it's nice um i'm yet to try it because i like to try new things but it's probably nice because, you know, curry give things flavor, especially these curry that we have in Jamaica, better pack or better pack, whatever. I think it's better pack, it's called. Give things a very nice flavor. Oh, yes, they make it like, um, like TikTok. No, oh, that's how TikTok is. Okay. Yeah, man. I think I might do some fish tomorrow for my dinner. I can't stop talking. I'm looking forward for that dinner. <laughs> I'm looking forward for that dinner tomorrow. Some fish. Have a wonderful weekend. Love to go to the show. Some love to go show some love to some other folks of course thank you very much for coming thank you jackie and gay thank you very much for coming conscious business service and opportunity so is this what you're you think in your channel name Who has sleep? Is this what your channel name in conscious business? Oh, that's your second channel. Okay. So then you can connect to me and then I will definitely return. Okay. On both channels. And then I'll return to you. If you don't have me already. Who oh, are sleeping? One love, my brother. Thank you, thank you, thank you. One love to you always. Today seems a bit slow. I think it's the Easter holiday. People are out and about doing their things. They seem so quiet. Welcome to my live stream, everybody. Please come in and feel free to come. Give me that thumbs up and let me know who you are. My neighbors are very noisy, guys. Disclaimer, the noise, the noise, very noisy. 
very very noisy that's why i like to say in my room when i'm around my room i don't hear the rubbish Very noisy. Thanks for coming to my live. Good afternoon. Good mo not good afternoon. Good morning, morning, morning. Welcome to my live stream. And please give me your thumbs up as you enter. Thank you. You sleep, yes, you guys. Today is very slow. Guys, I want to sleep because nobody coming to talk to me. <laughs> Woo it's really a quiet day everywhere. <laughs> Cause I think because of the Easter holiday preparation, people are out and about doing their thing. Nobody indoors. Mm 
Miss Gay, if you're still here, can you guys um press that art button, please, to, to share me out? With that art button at the bottom right hand corner. So, yeah. hello she wears many hats how are you my darling good morning miss jackie and everyone good morning she wears how are you doing i see you um send off something a shopping thing some shopping thing just as i'm about to come just as i went on youtube to about to come on live i see it and when i saw it it was just a minute ago it's there I am good. I've organizing some clothes. Oh, you're organizing clothes. Oh, yeah, man, I saw it. But just as I saw it, I think um, that we'll have to watch later. Later, I'll come back and watch it. And it was just a minute ago when it put out. With the high, with the the way our cost of living is really high. I was talking to Miss when I came on first. I was talking to Miss Gay. For Miss Gay was my first person here, and um, I was telling her like few items. I went in the Aberdashi to buy because I went to get um Novia. That's a thing that I used to keep my hair looking oily and nice. And uh, the, the, when I have having curly hair, whether it's wig or it's swan with curly. And when I went, that alone is for $1,300. And 
the Novia brand that I always use. They don't have that. So I had was to buy a different one that I've never used before. Just because the hair really dry and need it. The hair is really, really dry and need I need the, the, some moist in it. So I think let me buy this thing. Because along with the... I use um, condition in it. Like rub the... For me what I do, I put, rub, throw the condition in my hand. Rub it in the ear and then spray the ear with water or catch water in my hand. And, and it becomes curly. But amidst the curl, it needs something to make it shine and, you know, look nice. So the Novia I used to use is finished. So I went to the other dashi to buy one. Let me show you the one that I buy. I don't know if it's good or what you use because you have. I think don't think your ear is curly. Hello, thanks for coming. Rio, how are you in him? Yeah, um, that's, hi Rui, thanks for coming, yeah, um, I used to, Samantha, are you still there, I used to use this one, this is the one I use, Novia, when, see it finish, and what I do, I cut, and wipe it out, my god, you know, some in the door, some still live, so, yeah, I know you're going back to natural. I don't use this on my natural. And look, see, I'm getting some from it. I, I know you're going back natural. I watched your video yesterday when you buy that wig. But what I'm saying, with the wig, you have to keep it looking nice. So, what I do, see, you think I think it's finished. See, I'm getting some from it. No, let me put it. Let me rub this. I can't afford to use it. Yeah. So... See, I got cut it the other day and put it in the pin. <laughs> no, sir. Look, I cut it the other day. See, it is a Novia. This is the one I use. Even if I use, if even if I'm wearing so on. Yeah, you can use it for the wig if it's this texture. So even if I'm wearing so on, this is what I use in my human ear. Because when I use so on, I wear so on, I use, I use sort of human hair. So this is what I use. So, as you can see, I cut it. I cut it and I cut the pan, the bottle because Samantha thinks it's very expensive. I cannot afford to waste nothing, right? So I cut the bottle the other day, but the ear milk in my wig. I cut it the other day, because I said things very expensive. I can't afford to throw it away, and then I have to cut it. And then I cut it, and then see the amount I got out, out from it. I cut it and throw it in the bin, in the bathroom. And then I went back now to show the, the one that I went to buy at the... Abadashri in my area here, but they don't have any. So I had was to buy this type. I never use this one. 
I never use this one. I buy this one there. It says Zimmy Style Moisturize Intense Curl Gel. Moisturize defines curly, no frizzy, no shrinkage. Right? And it's um it have hibiscus and the coconut oil in it. As you can see the hibiscus and the coconut oil that it say have there. It's there. But this one now cost me, look at the price for this small bottle. Look. Hope you can see. $1,370. See there? Hope you can see the price for this small thing. And when I buy this one, this one is moisturizing finishing lotion. I can't remember. I pay under $1,000 for this. The bigger one to this is, it would be the price of this one. So see there. But this is the one I used to, but I can't get it. So I say, so let me try this Zimmy. Zimmy, what they call it. I never use it before. I'm telling you. Yes, everything is over a thousand. Jamaica. Yeah. So I'm trying it. Let me see. And. Mighty God, I just want the ear because you know when you're wearing the wig, even if it's wig, you don't want it to look dry. You want it to have a shiny, nice look. So what I've been doing from a few days ago, I've been using the, as I said before, the condition. What I do, I put some condition in my hand, in my hand, and then rub it to the hair, and then it smooth it and make it soft and no, nice. And then I spray some water and, you know, then now I will use this now as a little ear polish, but it's finished. So I try this one. But the price for it, oh Lord. Let me try if it's good. Hope it make the hair shiny and it don't make it look dry. If I go to Ochi, then I would get the right one that I want. When the wig is dry, it doesn't look good. No, no look good at all. Don't look good when it's dry at all. I like when it's have moist in it. I'm telling you, everything now is over $1,000. Lord oh, Jesus, help us. Everything is over $1,000. I don't like to let my ear down. I like my ear to catch up. I like catching up ear. But when I see you let that one down yesterday, I think, wow, it's good. I like to do, do it like this. So this is what I'm trying out to see. You say I've been it's rich with hibiscus and coconut oil. I don't know. See the hibiscus there with the piece of coconut. That's they say in it. It said no sulfate and no mineral oil, no silicone, no petroleum alcohol. And it says made in Jamaica. Hope you can see it. Made in Jamaica. See it? Seventy seven All Hope Road, Kingston five it make. Everything is expensive these days, my darling. I'm going to try this in my hair. Even though I soon, I soon gone back to do, get my hair fixed, do my own hair, but I will still need, even if I'm wearing so on curly hair, I'm going to still need things to put in it so I don't remind buying. I didn't know it was made in Jamaica. I use them in the... I see them in the pharmacy and supermarket. Yeah, man. It says made in Jamaica. I see the Jamaica sign there. 
Mm-hmm. And say it's it right there, sir. I am a Jamaican. Choose me. And it, honestly, when I come back here, I like, now that I'm reading it, I notice all that. Say it's a made in Jamaica. I don't know. Oh, you check it out. Okay. Is it curly ear you having? This one is better. To me, this one's better. Novia. Sofshin Carson. Professional Wave Novia. This one is better. I, I'd rather this one. But you know, everybody have their own choice. Each man to their own. So, but I'm just trying that one. Because what happened? Your wigs are wave you. Oh, so I think probably you use some, need something like this to let, let it oil. And I use ear polish as well in it, in my ear, in my wigs as well. I try for my ears, whether the sewing or right now it feel moist. I hate when it feel dry because it was really feeling dry this morning. But this, I love this. For the type of ear that you have in Samantha, I would recommend you use Wave Novia. This one. It's very, very good. It say quench dry thirsty ear, softener and provides sheen. I would recommend you use this one. Wave Novia, yeah. it's the best one. This one. And it say for all ear texture, for any ear. This one, it say for all ear texture. This one that I cut to get all of it from it, to get everything from it. I'm wasting anything. Check it out when I when I see it. Okay. Yeah, man, I think this one is the best for your hair. The type of hair that you have in. I have to fix it. You buy, you spend money and you spend money and fix the ear style and then you have to still spend money and buy the products to keep them looking good. But mine is getting moist and it was so dry this morning. I have to say no and let me go buy something for the ear. Yeah, for real. Man says, saying, yes, my dear. Yeah, that's how it goes. You spend money for the hair. Whether to wear it by the wig or to sew on or whatever, glue on something. And then you, know, you still have to spend money to keep it up for it to look nice. So you're not at work today. Something in my hands feels sticky. Oh, you're at home. Oh, this is your weekend off. <laughs> home sweet home. Oh, Lord. Then just imagine home sweet home. Until Tuesday morning again. Oh, enjoy it. Enjoy your, your, your few days home. In your own bed and all that. It's good. It's a very good thing.
Yeah. Yep. Put any at home. The government put money um and mini minimum wage two thousand dollars as of the first of June. So instead of thirteen thousand is fifteen thousand will be fifteen thousand dollars for minimum wages. And I think it depends on what level of minimum wage. Like domestic. I, I'm not sure. Like depends on I don't know, but I know that two thousand dollars added on the minimum wage, which is so good. I think it is. To make sure I'm not gonna look at this. I wanna make sure there's nothing left in it. Yeah, depends. That's what I said. Uh, I think my I heard my husband with it. Depends on what you're doing, the level of work, or who you work with will get more than minimum wage. I think living living helper gets more. I used to do living work when I was much, 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 way much younger. I'm telling you, food, take it. Every, food and other needs. Food and other things that we need takes it. Mighty God, I'm telling you. Food. Food takes everything. And we and we have to eat. Ways of survival. We have to eat. We can't go without food. Some people pay more than it. Depends on who you work with. Yeah. Yeah, I know. Some people pay right now. Um, about a year ago, I know of persons that were getting, you see this 15,000 that's coming in June, per week in June. I know of persons were getting that 15,000 per week living um, in a, with a living job. About, and I'm talking about two years ago, that person was getting 15,000 dollars per week for a, um, a living job mm -hmm. so I guess now she probably getting about twenty thousand dollars a week if she is still at that job
So if you yeah, so persons will be getting people up town pay their helpers very well, yeah. I know that their living helpers are going home helpers. So I don't know much for days work now. Like if you want someone to come in and do day work like every day or two or three times a week. I want, I'm wondering how much is that now. Days work are the are like four thousand five hundred and five thousand dollars per day. Okay, so me now. If me have wanted a worker, if I want a day work worker, Instead of make them coming in two days a week or three days, I'd rather they come for the week for the 15,000. Come five days for the 15,000. It's good. But I'd rather they come If I'm supposed to, if I, cause the other day, my husband and I were discussing, um, getting a day work, like a one time or two times per week, somebody to come in the home, come in and, and because honestly for me to go to work and come back, yes, but take note, take into consideration bus fare and taxi. Yeah, I know. And sometimes they only can come to you one or two days for the week. They have other people that depending on them. Say, for instance, I want them for two days. You want them for a day. And next person want them for a day or two. So I think, yeah. And then the taxi and the bus fare takes it. When when you have when you give them lunch is four or five, I think, and when you don't give lunch is five. Cause as I was saying before, the other day my husband and I were discuss having a discussion about having someone for this a day or two. two one day a week or twice a week two days a week and but i wasn't sure and the price how much is it the last time i had someone was i think it was three five a day we used to we used to pay three five a day and the person used to come twice a week that's what I remember. And that was more than two years. So I know it's gone up now. I know it must gone up further now. Honestly, right now I would do well with 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 a day work a uh, person coming two days a week to do some work help me because I'm tired. I am so tired, honestly. I am so tired.
Yes, because bus fare and taxi fare keep going up. I know. I know they keep going up. But honestly, if I could, if I have a full time helper, and I honestly would make sure they are comfortable. I honestly would make sure, 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 sure that they're comfortable. When I did my surgery and I used to have someone with me, they used to come almost every day. I think it was three days a week. And as I said before, that's what we used to pay, three, five a day. That time my husband and I were living alone. And I, we used to have to, have to pay three five per day and they give her lunch. And then when she finished, I didn't stop her from go. When she because with their work, what I know when you finish, you go. Do your job and do what you're supposed to do for that day and go. Yeah, people love good treatment. You can't be strict because you're paying. No. And when she comes, she eats, she makes her breakfast. First thing I ask, do you have breakfast? Because I don't want to me run there so lying down and then you run there so working and then we go see you on the floor. You come to help me. And then now me have to turn around helping you to get off the floor because you're hungry and drop down. Me don't want that. So I used to make sure. First thing you eat, yes. If it's no, make yourself some breakfast before you start eating. Mm, you, I'm, I'm not well, so I hire you to come and work for me. And then you now me as a sick person have to get up and and, and, and go around there so go help you. And you, go, you hear that you're sick, you feel sick because you're hungry. And now me now have to take myself now easy either stand up over this stove, prepare something quick for you, some tea or something. And me prevent that. You come, you, you, um, <laughs> you have breakfast. If it's yes, okay, good. When you're ready, you can still have something to drink. You don't have breakfast? No. Okay. There is egg, there is this, there is that. You can help yourself and look after your breakfast. Eat. Make sure you're comfortable and then you start your work. Mm -hmm. And I used to pay three, five for that. As I said before, that was like two, two years ago. Yeah, before I came here, I used to. And she wasn't that neat. But I keep her because she needs the money and I work with her show her how i do my things and it have to be regularly you you know if i go to someone's place to work and and they who is this um sadie and they show me how they how to do you see once you show me how to do the things where the bleach keep where the disc keep where did that? I will always remember. By next week, I can remember. Sadie Nelson, how are you? Thanks for coming. Thank you for coming. I appreciate it. You're welcome, my darling. Happy Easter to you. If you celebrate Easter, I should say. So as I was saying, you come and I, if I come and I, sh you show me. Wear this keep, wear that keep, wear this keep, how to do your thing, blah, blah. In the first few days, I might buffer, but I will remember by next Monday, I, may, I remember it, what to do. Where's the bleach? Where's the that? Because you're not going to do my work for me. You're only going to show me how, where things are kept, and that's it. Yeah, especially you can get a weekly help, weekly helper and pay minimum wages, especially if the person 
they walk in this stand. Yeah. Because it's hard to go, come back and work. Really hard. My husband and I were discussing it the other day, so um oh you're good, thanks. Thank you, Sadie. Yeah, we were discussing it and then we were thinking of um letting bring our his sister into the conversation as well to for us to come to some agreement to have somebody comes in because it's well needed it's not easy for us to go out and work and come in and work and then you have this big old house with tidy and keep it up it's not easy it's not easy and when we are not here the, the company will be good for daddy as well. But it's not easy. And we are, I'm um, suggesting people in my, people in my community here may pay minimum wages to get help for the elderly. Um, for our elderly that we have, remember, he still does a lot for himself. Mostly for him, it, the only thing is for the company during the days. He still do a lot for himself. He know where to find his food, his lunch, everything, if we are not here. And it's very seldom when someone is not here with him. He knows where to find his food, everything, everything. He's not a elderly person who can't do anything, can't even walk to the fridge to pour some drink or anything. He does a lot, but we still leave things in place for him if nobody's here. For instance, now for water to drink, you make sure some bottles fill. He likes to drink cold, thing, cold drinks. Especially the time he's at. Yes, I know, but the person does cook and clean. Oh, okay. Yeah. Somebody like that. But if you take them and say it's just to work for him, they will only want to work for him. Just to cook for him, wash his clothes, and tidy his room and clean his bathroom. That's all they would want to do. You, we couldn't get them to do anything else. So that is what I would want them to, somebody to, for the old house. But, and I don't think to cook will be in it. Anyone come first cook. And for me, I'm always, or most time, I am all, I'm at home. Because I mostly go to work in the evening. So I always do my cooking before I go to work. But what I'm saying yeah, we discussed it the other day and we said no to clean these windows straight round. To um it's a it's work. Mighty God. It's work. Work is here. We need we will do well honestly with a full a uh, full time um helper. To work the minimum wage for five, for the week. And it's not like they would be pressured. They would be with they work and when they finish they go. As long as you tie the place is neat. And we don't have to say, oh the kitchen window need cleaning. They, you know, and those little things. Because they did have a, a person here at one time before we came here. And you have to they used to have to tell her, show you, show her things. I'm not here to show you to what to do. You must know to do your work. I see some nannies law have that attitude. Let me put my glasses on. 
I see some nannies have that attitude. They only want to take care of the child. Yeah, nothing else. For real, you will have to let them know what to do. And Sadie is saying, no, no, but. What's the but, Sadie? You can join in our conversation. You're welcome. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. That's how some people are. If, it, if it's a child or children there to look after, that's just the child and the children they're looking after. And if it's to look after, if you said, we are they're employing you to look after daddy, it's only him. And remember at this moment, thanks be to God, he doesn't, he does a lot for himself. He do everything. Only thing he don't do for himself is cook and wash. He do everything for, he can't even make his, he doesn't, all right. If his sheets to change, if his bed sheet to change, we do that. Either me or his daughter or even his son will do that. Yeah, they sit down the whole day for real. Somebody will change his sheet. But, you know, after his sheet change, like during morning time, he'll make his bed himself. he walk around because the bed is in the middle of this room. It's, it's from, you have, can go right around his bed. And you see him make his bed. And he's somebody who likes to lie down. So every minute as he get up off that bed, he straighten it up. If he's going on the veranda to sit down or coming in the living room to sit, he get off the bed. When he stand up, you see him walk around and straighten him, fix up his bed. So if you say no, come and look after daddy. For real, they only want to look after him. And there is not much at the moment for him. But they would just want to look after him and wash his two pieces of clothes and cook some food for him and tidy his room and clean his bathroom. And, and then for the whole day, they sit down and relax. Nothing more. Even if they see he eats at the dining table there and they might see a little mess that he mess leave on the table or the floor. Probably they wouldn't even clean that. Probably we have to come in and clean it herself or brought that to their attention but sometimes think of it is just because it's just because to go out to work and come back it's not it's not easy you have to tell them what the limits in the interview for real you have to tell them then initially in the interview yeah and but somebody come for to put my glasses on to read because my eyes not so bright these days i'm back somebody come did come to me oh okay somebody did come to you okay in the life of gay saying blessing to you miss gay yes welcome back samantha yeah i was saying they will come and sit for the whole day when things in our house for do because remember they wouldn't go outside to clean up and rake up and sweep up because outside belong to my husband and him clean up and cut the yard and keep out there clean. But that doesn't say you're going to sweep the house and sweep the dirt and the back step or the front step out there so and leave it. Because you hear in the interview you was told that you're not supposed to sweep outside. You have to make sure you sweep the outside, sweep the house, you go sweep up the step. Hey, some people are hard to deal with. Sometimes when you think of it, it's best we, we, we do our thing or continue to do our things ourselves. Because, because they might come now and because they they hear that, oh, you don't business with the outside. You don't have to sweep outside nor nothing. They might sweep the house and then whatever they sweep from the house, they just sweep it out, sweep it out and leave it there. Mighty God. I don't know about nobody, but I would be really mad when I see that. Because I don't stand for foolishness. 
say these saying, but sometimes people ask people to only work for the children, but then after a while they said to do this or that. That is true, say that is so true. As what um she were saying, that's why in the interview you have to make a person know initially say look here even though there is a child or two that you are going to look after or an elderly person we will be asking for you to sweep the house during the days and you won't come in my room you won't go into my sister-in-law room i'm sure but the come you the, 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 these areas you want to make sure they keep tidy you have to make persons know you can't say to them come and look after this child or these children or this elderly man and then you expect that they you will come back and see the, the everywhere is out of place we have to make them know you're here to look after him but while looking after him it's, it does not take a lot to look after. You just need basically the company. You're going to prepare his food, all those things, wash his clothes, iron them, iron them, especially his church clothes. Not a lot of ironing. Thursdays, you prepare his clothes for church, for church Sabbath, and all that. And Keep the surrounding in the, in, in the house tidy. As what said, he says, true, you have to make person know. You can't after in the effect, then you start giving people the job. It won't work like that. People will get confused. But if you want a helper to overall, just let the helper know. Yeah, yeah, he can manage. You're here to give him company company him while you're here doing your housework and tidy the old house clean the windows once a month and necessary this that that we won't tell them clean the house you you are, you are not responsible to go in our room me and my husband room or my sister-in-law room and then later Few months after you go and leave the door open, say, Oh, so and so, my room door is left open. Can you tidy it for me? And no, that will not work for nobody. Nobody will put up with that one. That was not a part of the deal. <laughs> that was not a part of the deal. The deal, the only room you're supposed to tidy is that is that the one. Clean and keep it tidy apart from the rest of the house and wash daddy alone clothes good so it's true we have to make them know <laughs> my cousins overseas is paying a young lady to take care of their mother and i brought some food to her this this sunday because the girl don't work on sunday and the scent that the the saint that greets me, I almost, yeah, and it's elderly, and you know elderly person, they, they smell it, yeah. And um, she was saying, some people don't know how to even clean bathroom and mop floor. That is true. And said he's saying, but if you want to help her to overall, just let them know, yeah. For real, some of them can't mop floor, do not know. You give, you tell them the windows to clean and probably when they finish clean. I did have, listen, I have a fair share of with them. I have person um, that does, used to do day's work for me. And honestly, when the windows, they're dirty, they look to me, they clean. You see the moment they say they clean the windows, do everything is smeary and terrible. And you say you just clean them. And remember, I prepare everything. Because me and woman love have my household um things, them chemicals to clean. You must 
Even when you show them your way, say this, some is just like that. Because if when I'm cleaning my windows, in my bowl that I set with the water to clean them, I put bleach and I put fabulosus or disinfectant, whatever mm -hmm. you call it. That's what I use in my, 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 my cleaning thing. Because, you know, if you use that fabulosus alone without bleach, it makes the place raw and make the window raw. So I use bleach and I use that. And when the woman don't clean the, my windows, I can remember. My husband is a living witness. The window then worse. Like she come, like she comes Monday. You see, when Tuesday, when you look on the window, me, myself, have to get newspaper and go back over them and clean them, shine them, make they look different. And then when she comes back the Thursday and you say so and so and so, the windows weren't cleaned properly, blah, blah. One whole heap of excuse. Yes, me clean them and this and that and that. Sometimes it's hard to work out and come in and do your housework, but listen to me. Sometimes it's better you do it yourself and do it how you can manage. You do liquor today, you do liquor tomorrow. Instead of having some people to deal with. Not all helpers are bad. A good helper will do more than what she asks for. Yeah, for real. That's true, Sadie. And um, she were saying because sometimes they have accidents before they reach the toilet. So if you don't mop the floor, the house will always have a bad smell. Yeah. And remember, they are aging because of their age. So you see, to do certain work, you have to have that care, that love. Because, for instance, you have an old person live with, a elderly person live with, and things that when they're aging, things they you they're doing when they're aging now, they don't do. You never used to do it before. They do make mistakes. Probably they can use the toilet and forget that oh they didn't flush the toilet. It happens. Yeah. It's happen. Sometimes they can use the toilet and forget that they never flush the toilet. And you are the helper. I'm, I'm, I am the helper now. Go there and see the toilet. Don't flush. I walk out and say, oh, me now flush it because in fin was every flush the toilet. Can you do that? Just flush it. Because remember the age. Yes, we have to pay close. Eat. And when you finish eating, someone say look here if he use that that he just eat and when he eats you're going to point all those things out to them you know because and they will accept and they will agree but the moment they get the job they not agree anymore okay when he eats we have to war um clean up after him like the floor and the spot up the table where he eat they will agree but you see the moment they get the job that uh, they start with one whole heap of problem you have to come in and see the rice and the floor or whatever eat and the floor or the yam whatever and the table they so probably you they want him to all bring the plate himself and the glass and everything to the kitchen and we don't do that when he eats he leave them there and then we pick up after him the age we have to respect age well you can't, you can't allow him to eat and then bring the plate himself in the kitchen and the cup because when him going in with it toddling with it he can turn over and that drop and break you know it's not something easy leave it on the table just like how you put the dinner on the table or this whatever he's supposed to get on the table and call his attention to it for him to eat, when he finish eat, the plate must eat and leave the plate, and then we bring it around. Helper will agree with all those do's and don'ts, but when they get the job, it can become very difficult to them. They probably, when we are not here, tell him to put the plate in the kitchen, them say himself, and then God forbid anything happen, they come up with some stories. 
Mm -hmm. So he, when you have to trustworthy people, it's hard to find. They want it's Samantha. We don't know if we can find somebody like me and you who have that heart, the love. We don't know, but something has to be done. Yes, we have to pay close attention and say, it's not easy, my dear. That's why some people change helpers every month, yeah? Because what are you paying your money for? You're paying your money to get your job done well. Take into consideration if they want favors, you're going to give them favors as well. If they want, a, if they have an appointment and they say, oh, I have an appointment to see the doctor, dentist, or my child's school, whatever, you are going to use your consideration and give them the time to go or the day. And they will still be paid. You're going to look after them. But when it comes to them to look after you, mm -mm. I never forget that one with the windows. In, when the window then clean, I'm telling you, Jesus, help me. Me? Then when I moved from that house and moved to a different house again, and then I was not well, because I used to have bad stomach pain and then up to my surgery. So I used to have someone, and I am telling you, I have to be walking behind them to make sure this done properly, that done properly. And you weren't cooking. Because I have to cook my husband food or him cook it himself. Things that they weren't cooking, you just, and honestly, when that lady comes early, before eight o'clock, between seven and eight o'clock, you know she's going to, I know she wants to leave early. By say two o'clock, honestly. Anytime she comes late, you know she's going to stay until her four or five. But anytime you see that lady come eight o'clock, where she's supposed to be there, because at that time she used to have to come, whereas my husband leaves, somebody must be there with me. And sometimes all to nine, she don't reach it. Nine o'clock, them time there. I'm telling you, people are so dishonest. I'm telling you, man. And when they don't they complain about um, people don't treat them good in, when they work in their home. Give, you give, you get what you give. Get what you give. It's true, someone, someone said, laugh out loud. I have to go clean up some meat. Some meat. Oh, okay then, Sam. Thank you for coming, my darling. Oh, I smell smoke. It's bothering me now. Smoke. Wow. Time it is. Two one already. The smoke is disturbing me. Okay, Samantha, enjoy the rest of your holidays. Sunga, look what you buy for 15,000 Jamaican dollars. Sunga, look at it. Because I would I would stay long today. Because I have work later and I need some rest. Somebody is burning smoke, man. Killing me. Mm -mm.
Oh, said he, you'd... I don't think you missed nothing much. We were still on the to topic of um, how persons treat people when they... Oh, you drop off. Oh. Said, have you connect to me? The smoke, somebody's burning. You connect to me, Sadie? Mm -mm. Smoke is killing me. Whew. No light fire, man. Sadie Nelson. So say they need somebody, but I'm going to start looking for somebody who is hardest, hardworking, and all that. I am new to your program first. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, my darling, for coming over. Thank you very, very much. And you just fit in like a, like you're here a long time, like you're watching my program a long time. Thanks very much. You're welcome to watch all of my things that I put on. I don't know you'll find them, if you'll find them foolish or what. But please connect to me, please, my darling. I'm way over in Manchester. Oh, you're in Manchester. Oh. That's good. How is Manchester? How is the weather? Cold, not cold, I'm sure. Press that art button for me, Sadie. That art button on the right hand corner right there and share me out, please, my darling. It's so happy to see someone join me. And um, who is not a content creator. I hope you continue to give me your support, okay? And share me out to your friends and everybody. Tell everybody about me, okay, me darling? <laughs> Tell everybody about me, my darling. It's hot down here. I'm, the, I'm in St. Anne's. It's very hot, but um, overcast, but it, the heat is on. The sun is not out, but the heat is on. So you can tell everybody about me, my Pitney. Tell everybody and share me out and tell everybody if you go and watch Ambitious Jackie Channel. <laughs> Thanks for coming and I hope you find your welcoming. Joy, how are you, me darling? Joy, Joy. How are you, Joy? How are you doing, Joy? Joy? Joy is another one of my girls. She's not a content creator, but she always support me. So I have Joy and I have Sadie. Good. Oh, oh, I'm sure. Not a content creator, but they are here giving me their support. You sound so much like a like a friend oh i saw like a friend from cayman something like that you want to write i've never been to cayman yeah man i'm here trying to do life to make money to make money and yt you sound so much like a friend. Oh, you know, in Cayman or from Cayman, something like that. No, me darling, I've never been to Cayman. We all sounds alike because we are one hand made.
when I finish this live, I'm going to do a video because to tell um I promise a video I think a video came to my mind what I'm going to do when I'm finished when I finish here because you know today is Saturday Cayman oh I never I don't know Cayman my dear I've never been to Cayman I used to live in England Mm -hmm. So you have enough yam and all them things there for Manchester there. Sadie. I used to have a friend in Manchester by the name of the, the Powells. They are, they are, their surnames are Powell. And the other day, about a month ago, my mind ran, and, and she, this girl, she was my very, very, very good friend. And we just lost contact. People grown apart from each other. I think she used to live in Colleville area. I think she used to live in Colleville area. Miss Blake is saying hello, Joy. I think she used to live in a Colleville area and was my very good friend, Michelle. Her name was Michelle. And we just grew apart. I'm thinking of, I went on Facebook at one point, was just sort of scrolling through to say if we can get back her contact. But so much, Mish, when I type in her name, so much of that name come up. I don't, honestly, I'm going to try again. All right, I wonder if I can put it on some contact because I need to find that girl. She's my very, was my very, very good friend. Joy is saying, I miss Blake. Yeah, man, she is, was my very good friend. Her name was Michelle. She's from the, she's a Powell. Probably she aren't married and not using that name anymore. I don't know. But I hope she's still around. I do hope she's still around, honestly. She used to be my very, 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 we was very good friends. Michelle. So how are you, Joy? How is it in your area where you live? And guys, if you are anywhere that you can support my channel, my super chat and super sticker is out, it's available. You can send me, but I know they say it's only overseas. No, he's going to church today. Gonna church today. He's not here. He's going to church. Mm hmm. Then gonna church. One prank idea come to me about. I was telling my husband. Oh, you're from Mobe. I used to live in Mobe, Albion. I was telling my husband the other day that I had a prank idea come to my head. That I'm going to prank daddy, but it sleeps me and until no, I can't get it back. But, but I I am going to get it. I'm going to get it. It come to my yesterday when I was at work, like something, some prank idea. I just leave my head. 
Wow, that's great. Me have to wipe out the pan. Where in Mobile are you from, Joy? Me used to live at Mobile as well for a few years well. Yeah, man, Miss Gay, Daddy Ghana Church. <laughs> he can't, he can't go every week, but when he can, you know, because the sitting up for the old days is not easy for him. I think gone to church. His daughter gone with him to church. And then today is a good day at church. I think 13th Sabbath, it's called. So it's, no, it's a very nice day today. Should be a very nice day at church today. So it's gone. He, he's happy, likes going to church. And if he was here, his lunchtime would be, sometimes depends, he, he wants early lunch. Sometimes he will wait until 3 o'clock, 2.33, because he thinks he's at church, because it's Sabbath. And so when he's at church, even he's at church now, it's between 2.30 to 3 is their lunchtime. They had something called break between 11 to 11.30. And then they go back to service and then until about 2.33 lunchtime before they get lunch. So he treats that situation as if he's at church same way because it's Sabbath and it's in his mind that that's when I must eat lunch. But Monday to Friday, he eats lunch. As 12 o'clock come, that sweet hour of prior business <laughs> sing. And he listened to the news, then he was ready for lunch. 12 o'clock, Monday to Friday, but Sabbath, it, we wait, wait longer. You know, the ages, I'm learning about aging, that when I get there, that when I get there, I will understand myself. I hope so. I understand myself when I get to there. To know that oh. being around an old a elderly person gives you fun, it gives me fun. I don't know about anybody. If any of you here have any old people that you live around, it gives me more fun. I like being around him the, the way they talk, the way they do things, the things they say, I should say. The way they think. Oh my God. No, sir. Age. Age, man. I'm telling you, age. Sometimes when I look at daddy and I think, when if I reach that age, live to see that age, what would I be like? You know, I always think, what would I be like? Mighty God. Only God knows.
Only God have that answer. I'm telling you that this breeze is breath breathtaking. Oh, you have breeze. We don't have none. I don't know what I need today. It just look dull and overcast and yes, you have. We have to love them, said for real. We have to love them, man. We have to love them. You can have a laugh more time, you know? All those things. You have to love them, man. More time we have a laugh. When this... <laughs> no, sir. The way all they think, the things they say, they wonder. Is this my right? Why is he saying that? But you know, it's the age. I love to work with them and babies. They are so much fun. Yeah, they are very much fun. And I'd rather to work with them. Yeah, they are so, so much fun. So much fun. They are so much fun to be around. So you always work with them, Sadie? Let me check what's up. I saw me back, guys. Let me check what's up. Me.
Oh, holy, I'm back. What's going on? Jackie, I live in close proximity to Albion. Say, they say I was living in Cayman. Yes, most time. Say, say, the, oh, you live near to Albion. You know where I used to live, Joy? I used to live in Canterbury. So you walk come to First Street and walk and go down there. So that's where I used to live. So they call there Albion First Street, where we used to walk from the that end, from First Street. Up that hill. When I first went to Montego Bay, I used to live in for on First Street, Albion. And I used to do go to um Cornwall College for evening classes when I was doing English and human so human and social biology. Yeah. That's where I used to live. Where I used to live, my darling. Don't know if you know some girls called Red Ed and those people. Okay, you don't know them. Okay. Me, man, I used to live. I lived there for, um, um, for a few years well because my daughter went to to um, Chetwood Primary. She went to Chet Chetwood Primary and then she left Chetwood and went to Marland school Marlon I and then from she didn't spend any much time in at Marlon because just as she started going to Marlon I left for England and then like six months after I took her with me that is 2000 um 2019 2017, 18. 2000. No man, 2000 and 2000. When she came to England, it was 2000. 2000, 99, 9, 99. Mm -hmm. And she went to all her throughout Chetwood Primary, all the primary ages. She went there from she was six until she passed for Mal Maldan. You know, Maldan up in the hills. I think when you go Tucker and go up, that's where. But I don't think I would live in Mantico Bay again. <laughs> I don't think so. But back then, Mantigo Bay was lovely to live. But I don't think I will do it anymore. I stay in my quiet Monique, St. Anira right now. One fifteen. My life is very quiet today, but so it goes. Sometimes it's quiet, sometimes it's happy. That's how it goes. So it goes sometimes, you know, sometimes coffee, sometimes tea, they said.
and I'm so thankful for you guys that come to join me. Sadie, who just joined me. Joy, who's always my long-time foreign P on my channel. <laughs> Miss Gay and Samantha, that she wears many hats. Always giving me their support. I thank God for all of you who come by today. Jackie, honestly, I'm going to see. Yes, Miss Gay, you go and have your rest, me darling. Go and have your rest because I soon cut off because I have work. Soon cut off to myself. Go and have your rest, man. Take care. Happy weekend to you too. God bless you and thanks for coming, my darling. Go and go have your rest, Miss Gay. You are here long, long with me. You are here from my start, so you are here over two hours with me. Thanks very much. And I'm so happy and thankful for your support. For each and every one who come and give me their support today, I'm so, so, so thankful. And for those who don't come, I am still thankful because when people can come, they come. When it's big, we happy and merry. When it's small, we happy same way and give God thanks. Mm. No matter what it is, I give God thanks. After two now. So my people, thanks for coming to my live stream. God bless you. And have a blessed and prosperous rest of the weekend. May God help you and work upon the desire of your heart so that it will always be good with you guys okay thank you thank you very much there's a fourth person there can you give me a thumbs up as you come so anyway guys thanks for coming as i have work for tonight the white people then work tonight and it's after one o'clock so i go have a little rest and um prepare my clothes, my uniform for work tonight and all that and that and this and that. So I will definitely see you guys in the next upload. Look after yourself. Thanks for coming and don't ever think I take you for granted. Not even one second. I always love and appreciate you guys, okay? And I will definitely see you I did not hear your reply. What was the reply? What was the reply, Joy? 
Said what was the reply? Let me go back. Oh, you was living in Cayman. It's about the old people. But Joy say, God bless you too. Have a safe and peaceful rest of the long weekend. Blessings. Thank you, Joy. It's about what repeat that. Repeat that um that question for me, um Sadie. Cause you say I did not hear your reply. What was the question you asked? Please re repeat for me. Asking you when and where. Asking you when and where you come. When you come and live. Oh, you see for me coming and live. I mostly come Saturdays. But when I'm on live, you will see me. You will see me when I'm on live. If you subscribe to my channel, not so we don't use that word. Sorry, why are you using this word, Jackie? You will see and know when I'm on live. But I mostly come Saturdays for now. And next week, Saturday. I'll be back on live as well. And sometimes in the week, I might pop up. If I have the time, depends on how I feel. But I, I do come on live. But these days, Saturdays. Okay? I hope that answer your question. And as I said before, you will see me when when i'm live so look after yourself take care of yourself and many many thanks for coming please connect to my my channel and watch my things you are now one of my supporters okay one of my youtube family you now join the ambitious jackie family okay all right my darling and please joy and say to share me out Tell people about me, okay? Send them over to watch my channel. I am depending on you guys, okay? It's after one, and I think I feel sleepy. And you guys can um, watch me on Instagram. My Instagram is Jackie.Miller2. J A C K I E that Miller too. That's my Instagram. You can watch me there. Talk to me there. Anything you want. If when if, if there is a video in mind that you uh, something a content in mind that you want me to do, you can give me your suggestion because we are here to help each other. We are here to help each other. Okay. So you can give me your support and go and watch me. Um. Talk to me on um, Instagram as well. As I said before, it's Jackie.Miller2. And my Facebook is Jackie Mullins. Bye, darling. Take care of yourself and be safe. Be good. Always. Bye for now. Oh, yes. Bye-bye, my, my, my friends, my everybody. Bye. Bye-bye.